this could never, ever happen here. A reminder, well, it has. It did. When a just sworn in Franklin Roosevelt shut down banks across the country back in 1933. Now, the idea was to restore calm to the markets and certainly the banking system, but not before a complete government overhaul of the banking system. Now, that, of course, was then. Still think what's going on in Cyprus is just then, now? Not Craig Smith, who is getting a feeling of deja vu all over again. And, Craig, I always hasten to add here, you know, very different societies, very different economic systems, very different banking systems. But I always get nervous when I hear experts say, well, it can never happen here, never happen here. Because I remember the Irish banking contagion, and when it hit us, everyone said, wait a minute, that was Ireland. So, anyway, uh, is history going to repeat itself? It could very easily do so. And, you know, Nigel hit it right on the button. I mean, look at what's happening in Europe. After a hundred years of progressive uh, thought of believing that big socialistic government can take care of everything, it, you know, is failing. I mean, it's, it's mortally wounded right now. And if they can't succeed, they'll just steal. I call it expropriating money out of the accounts, kinder way of saying stealing. <laughs> Nigel said they'll just steal the money out of your account. But what if that now, money in isn't enough? But what if that money, I was thinking of this because we were doing the math backwards at Fox Business Network, which, Craig, if you don't get, you should demand. And what we found out was if they don't get enough money out of this 40% tax on rich depositors, and it's looking like they're coming well shy of that, then obviously you have to go down the food chain. You have to get money from somewhere. They're not cutting spending. So the only other option is, well, we have to get money either from more average folks, more of their deposit accounts. We have to find something greater because we're not getting it from these rich guys and these oligarchs and these Russian mobsters, right. wh whoever they're going after. Well, it, and, and that's the interesting part about it, Neil, is the reality is we do need the money, and they are willing to literally take it out of people's bank accounts. When Lowell Ponty and I wrote the book, The Great Debasement, we talked about this, Neil. We talked about that debasing money through inflation is one thing. But when you have governments that are actually willing to take money out of your accounts, we have this discussion going on in Washington, D.C. right now, and that new college uh, professor, where she wants to have the $18.5 trillion worth of money in qualified retirement accounts given to the federal government, and you get an annuity in place. Neil socialism is failing that's the good news the good news is this for a hundred years has proven to be a failed experiment now the question is ACBC you know before Cyprus after Cyprus if we realize the mistakes of the socialism that was created in Europe and the consequences that come and we take a hard right turn from there here in America we may well save this country and put us on the greatest path of prosperity well, I, I, we've you ever know, seen. Kurt, I love you dearly. You've been so accurate and pressy about a lot of things. I'm not holding my breath for that. I will say this. Generally, you do well as an investor. You've done very well as an investor defying the consensus. And the media sort of, you know, prattles on with this consensus view. With, you know, uh, they'll get through this. They, they're going to keep the European Union together, only to discover down the road that maybe it wasn't a club worth keeping together. Let's say it, it dismantles and falls apart. What's the fallout? Well, well, the fallout would be catastrophic. Europe, Europe makes up 25 percent of the world's GDP. So, and and it, and 10 percent of our GDP is exports to Europe. So that would clearly create a lot of problems for us. But Neil, let's keep let's keep one thing in mind. If they had taken all this money out of the accounts, they would have fixed the problem. You got to remember, they would have paid everything right, off. Right. Instead, they've kicked the can down the road with a bailout. That's exactly right. And that's what we've always done: is kick the can down the road. They now, gave look, it a band-aid over a gaping wound. I wish we had more time, Craig, but very good insights all. We will keep you on top of this, folks. That I promise you. Meanwhile, you think this health care law is for the birds? I